Video games that punish cheaters. With a lot of games comes a lot of cheaters. Cheaters who use hacks or mods to make it easier for them to get infinite ammo or make other players miserable. But some games are one step ahead and find creative ways to punish these cheaters. From games completely deleting a game file for cheating to even weirder and unusual ways of punishing the player, I'm going to take a look at different ways video games have caught and punished cheaters. So Banjo Kazooie is one of those cute little games that is completely innocent, but it's also one of the most punishing ones for those who cheat. Yet, the way it punishes cheaters is it completely deletes your entire game. Like all those hours spent on the story and progress, it, it all gets deleted. And the way that occurs is if you go into this sandcastle, you can type in different cheats, but if you do it too many times, you get this notification. Stop this cheating, Grunty says, or your game pack I'll erase. So she gives you a warning on cheating, but if you don't listen to her and continue to do these cheats, well, then she ends up deleting your entire account. There's even a warning here. Banjo, if you use a third cheat code, your game pack will be erased. Are you sure you want to do this? Press A for yes or B for no. Wow, they're really trying to warn the player. <laughs> you didn't listen. I'm amazed. So now your game pack is erased. And that's it. It just completely deletes your account. Oh, it just forces you out as well. And yeah, if you try to load your game in, it's completely gone. It says empty now. It's honestly pretty brutal, but it does give you three warnings. So this next punishment is in Zelda Link's Awakening, where if you go inside the town tool shop, you can grab any of these items, but instead of talking to the merchant and actually buying them like a good citizen, if you run away, he says, you gotta pay for that, put it back. And you can choose to put it back, or you could choose to pay for it, or you could just leave, but you will suffer some severe consequences. Guess what? You got it for free. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, the game just makes you feel bad just carrying that guilt inside you. Now also for the rest of the game, instead of NPCs calling you Link or whatever you called yourself, uh, they will from now on just call you Thief. What do you like to do, Thief? <laughs> and also if you dare to step back into the shopkeeper's shop, well, he does this. I wasn't kidding when I said pay, now you'll pay the ultimate price. Hey, just kind of like turns into Zeus and just kills Link. Honestly pretty brutal, but also very well deserved. Alright, but this next punishment is one of the most interesting and creative ways of doing this, and it's in the game RuneScape, the massive MMO that unfortunately has a lot of people using bots. That's right, some of the players in this game are not actually real players, they're bots that have been coded to do certain actions so that the player doesn't have to grind. And the way that RuneScape combated this is that if a player gets caught botting or doing other cheats, they get sent to an actual trial. Yeah, on the left side you can also see some of the players just making fun of him and like even throwing tomatoes you, you clockwork demon i see that your constantly seeking unfair advantage over others has not dulled your senses too much good people of the court look here this automator using cheat stands here in plain sight ready for judgment I don't like it was the box. yeah so then if you're watching these trials the players can actually vote on what type of punishments the accused will receive <laughs> And yes, these are actual people talking. Uh, we might have to blur some of them. That, that a lot of them can be pretty mean. And yes, after receiving either of these punishments, the account gets terminated, like completely deleted forever. Now, this next punishment is actually pretty funny. This is found in Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, with the character Ocelot literally breaking the fourth wall, telling you, the player, to not cheat. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. So what he's referring to is that there's these PlayStation controllers that were heavily modded to automatically button mash for you. And he therefore warns the player that if you use this controller, he'll know. And now here's the part of the game where you have to button mash. So yeah, you constantly have to be mashing the button, but somehow the game knows that the player is using a modded controller, and therefore mashing the buttons does not work, instantly killing Snake. Alright, now this punishment has a pretty unusual backstory. So in the game Tomb Raider 2, there is a quote-unquote cheat code that supposedly if you enter it, Laura would be, uh, new. Watch what happens when you put in this code. Yeah, you just, uh, you just explode like a Lego piece. And yeah, I'm not lying. The code was the developer's response to a persistent rumor of a nude code for Tomb Raider. So yeah, obviously, the developer was just trolling all these people who assumed such things. And the glitch is also very weird. Instead of a button combination, Laura had to walk one step forward, one step backward, turn around three times, and jump forward or backflip. And yes, it even works in the Tomb Raider 2 Remastered Edition. All right, she's doing the turn around three times, and after that, she's gonna do the flip, and then let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. 
it's still there. That's amazing. I like that. Now, Sims 4 had something somewhat similar. When it first released, there was a lot of people pirating the game. And very quickly, if you don't know about The Sims, if your Sim uses a restroom or takes a shower, they have this blurred sensor bar that's kind of comedic. But the people that pirated these games started to realize was that these sensor bars were not leaving their character. In fact, the entire game just slowly started to get more and more blurry. Like right now, the sensor bar is over the character and it's just slowly growing even more and more. See, now the toilet's blurred as well. And what's funny is that a lot of these people that pirated the game reported this on Twitter and online forums saying that this was a huge glitch that needed to be fixed, but instead they're just being exposed for uh, downloading the game illegally. Honestly, well deserved, making the game pretty unplayable. Similarly to RuneScape, in the MMO Guild Wars, if you were caught cheating or breaking the rules, well, the Grim Reaper will rise up and literally just swipe you away, killing your character forever. So here's a person who's saying a lot of inappropriate things, and he instantly gets killed, as well as the Grim Reaper rising up, slicing his body, and he dips out. <laughs> and now he's just gone forever while everyone else just gets to laugh. Owned, yes! Slash cheer. Yeah! All right, but this next punishment is one of my favorite ones just because of how hilarious and crazy it is. So this is The Witcher 2, and it's another piracy type punishment where the whole game plays normally. And in the game, you can fight, you can romance certain NPCs. And while the NPCs may look attractive in the game, once the cutscenes play out, well, uh, this ends up happening. Yeah, uh, the model gets replaced by this new model here. Alright, but next we have the game Animal Crossing. If you end up turning off your console without saving, then you meet the most obnoxious NPC of all time, Mr. Rossetti. Look, he's even looking directly at you. And the first time you don't save and turn off your console, he's actually really nice. He says, on behalf of everyone at Nintendo, you, my friend, reset your game, didn't you, huh? Maybe by accident, maybe on purpose, but you pressed it. So he kind of just explains how he doesn't like the idea of you resetting the game without saving appropriately. But the more times you do this, the more upset he gets. Don't pretend you don't know who I'm talking to, Abdallah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's really calling her out, huh? And if you try to ignore him and just walk away, he again just yells at you. Unbelievable. What? What are you doing? Don't make me chase you. Wait, he could chase you? <laughs> what the heck? And the more times you don't save, the more and more upset he gets. He even makes you write an apology letter. Say it. I was good. Wrong. Nope. Wait, he actually makes you say it correctly. Say I was bad. <laughs> Jeez. And that's the only way to proceed through the game. That's hilarious. I like that. Um, it even gets to the point where Rossetti even threatens to delete your account. <laughs> Very hostile now. You again. Stop. Jerkin, my chain. <laughs> All right, Nat, that's it. Today's the day. I'm done. Norma taking it easy on the poor human. I'll hit reset for you. Everything you've done so far, all that you've worked for, forget about it. That's right. It's all going bye-bye. You, my button-happy friend, get to start over. Well, see ya. And then the game just turns off. At least for a few seconds. Then he says, gotcha. Did we break our controller? Did we maybe kick our TV? <laughs> Jeez, it's so mean. I remember Rossetti being annoying as a kid, but honestly, I really enjoy this whole thing. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.